Hey, what's going on there guys? East here. And today we are going to be testing out some machinery and some whips. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't think anybody has done it because I looked. Um, I wanted to know about a couple uh, machines that I could use to cut some grass like this. And as I was looking around, I mean, I know it's out there because I've done it so much, but there's a lot of people who have never touched these machines and they might want to know and there's really nothing out there at least in English that I saw that they can rely on so we're gonna make this video for everyone out there who's interested and here's what we're talking about here these three machines right here um, here we call them uh, bush cutters and every time I look online to research one they're called string trimmers or uh, brush cutters but here in the islands we call them bush cutters so we have three different models here uh, the first one is what I've been using this is an absolute absolute workhorse it's the cheapest one uh, that Mariyama offers and it's the CER 23e engine and it's called the B20 BT23L. Right there. All right, look how tiny this thing is. Absolute tininess. It's called the Big Proscape. It's super light compared to these two. Look at the size of the shaft. Look at that size and look at that. I don't know the exact uh, OD on these. But you can just see this one is way, I mean, super lightweight, guys. And I'll tell you what. I was primarily a Shindawa user, uh, particularly the B45 and the B450. But they have since stopped bringing them into the island because some EPA regulation. So I had to turn to... Uh, Mariyama in order to uh, continue cutting grass like this okay now surprisingly very surprisingly um, okay how I ended up with this was I had a 450 but the grass in Rota is always like this when we cut it it's never lawnmower style cutting here in Guam, you have more uh, landscape properties that are have been cut and cut and cut, and now they're lawnmower ready. So, you know, I swapped it for with my dad because my dad stays over there for this little guy that my dad picked up, and because he needed it more than I did, we we you know here in Guam, we like I said, most of the yards are already done. All you need to do is the little trimming around the areas where you know it's hard for the lawnmower to reach but I have been using this little tiny machine for this type of grass a lot and two reasons one is because I didn't have these other two bigger ones okay so I was stuck with that second is when I got the two bigger ones this one is so much lighter and it just feels like less work now the only problem that this has and you can see right now i fitted it with a blade um and the the reason why is when you have a blade on there it doesn't cause much uh, uh, friction to the end of the shaft it pretty much just glides right through the grass i mean it doesn't even hurt it one bit as far as you know the engine uh wear and tear the strain on the motor it's almost non-existent because the, the blade is just literally like just chopping so that's why I fitted it on the lightest one and I doubled this using uh oh and check that out we got some skydivers coming down I know they look probably super far away to you but anyway so uh, that's why this one has the blade and I also use it to like trim off like a pruner almost very uh effective now next one up is the b42 the b42 
uses the CER 420 motor I guess is what it's saying there and look how look how much difference the clutch is in here in these things here's the clutch and it's a centrifugal clutch so it goes once it spins up it expands and then it grips which uh, puts power to the to the shaft here down to the whip now this one they call I believe it's the venom venom right there venom series venom series one okay now this they the claim is that this is as powerful as the Shindawa B45 that's the claim however because or the B sorry the B450 however um, and it uses less gas but I think that's a marketing scheme because really nothing nothing yet that they have built can compare to the Shindawa B450 nothing take my word for it I've been cutting a lot of grass guys and they came close though it's a it's a good second option and the reason why I have this is because the they support it there's support here there's a there's a Shindawa store here a shop local shop and there's also a Mariama local shop however because they can't bring in 450s you know and, and the parts are just dwindling down because everyone's trying to fix up their 450s because it's they, they there's no more the parts are getting less and less available and there's no way to get a new 450 hopefully Trump you know gets rid of some EPA regulations like bringing in those 450s and our local shop can start bringing them in and the last one here this is an antique um, this one is the Moriyama uh, I believe it's B B BC 420H and you can tell I mean look at it it's almost identical this is a 420 and this is a 42 and it's almost exactly identical it, it, except for uh, this housing right here um, and then this one there's no choke but it has like an injector button <laughs> I guess it pumps, uh, it squirts um, fuel into the cylinder. But you can tell, look at, these almost look identical. I don't know if they are identical, but they look identical. Um, Weight-wise, they're pretty, they're pretty much similar. And you can tell the, the handle is almost identical too. And I didn't change this, this is the way it came. So, um, these are the three models that I have today, and uh, I'm gonna use all three of them. We'll talk about them and uh, and find out, you know, give you guys more information on what to expect from each each one. Well, not really this one because you guys probably won't be able to find it. But you know, I I saw some forums out there like used uh, lawn care forums, and some people are selling this. So in case you, there's one out there man this thing works like a charm and I'll, I'll show you out here how, how it performs so we're also gonna test out three different whips okay this is very important this what type of whip you use is very important because it's gonna dictate how well it cuts the grass and it's also gonna dictate how many times you gotta stop to change the dang thing so a lot of these whips on the ends and there's different shaped whips there's circu circular square this one is triangle if you can see i don't know if you can see that if it's focusing this one's triangle uh this one here if you can see inside that package it's like a they call it vortex so it's kind of a swirly thing going on uh spiral and then this one they call razor wire because it's, you can see the edge right there. I don't know if you can see inside that package, but it's uh, perforated. 
see that there okay so the one thing is they all come from three different places this one comes from our local uh, Mariama dealer and you can see it's a Mariama brand this one comes from Home Depot and I like this one because it has this cutoff thing very easy to cut these these strings and if you can look at the diameter they're pretty thick you know these aren't the thin ones these are the the really heavy duty uh, strings here I get this one in the light very you can see the size difference pretty similar very hard to cut so far in my experience this cuts really well but the ends get split really fast not well not really fast but they get split if you hit something really hard this same thing gets split however it takes a lot lot longer for this to wear down so far that I've seen but this one still does really well for especially for the price um, this one we are testing I am NOT familiar with this type of uh, string at all you can see right there what it looks like um, supposedly because it has these uh, these rough edges serrated it's perforated I said perforated earlier but it's serrated sorry serrated um, because it's serrated it's supposed to be able to saw through the grass I guess is their their thinking there so we're gonna test out all three we're gonna test out all three of these machines and I'll let you know uh, what I think and then you can see for yourself and you can you know decide on what you think okay let's get started okay guys one thing I forgot to mention as I left you guys is the gas that it takes these all take 50 to 1 and what I do is I just buy the 50 to 1 mix this is one gallon and uh, mix it in and boom we'll feed them to the bush cutters here and we'll get going so don't forget guys uh, all these three machines use 50 to 1 I know some chainsaws and other machines use 40 to 1 very important to make sure that you got the mix correct so um, I know they sell these big mixes and some people buy like a quart and they just mix it themselves that's fine if you have the measuring tool and check it out another skydiver anyway so let's get to work all right guys here's the 420 got her started up you can see runs like a champ oh. spins like a champ It's a very, very, it's, it's powerful guys. I mean, you know, don't let the age fool you on this one. It's, uh, it's got some power. So, like I said, if you find a good one that's uh, available to you guys, man, pick it up. Because, especially if it's running good, it may look old, but this puppy runs real strong in comparison to um, anything underneath these models so if you can find one on the cheap that compares to the the 23 over there as far as price range then i would grab this one over that one just because of the power that you have you have more uh you know i'll tell you what like i said i used that 23 for a long time for a lot of different jobs and it does the job but it takes longer because you gotta wait for the 
RPMs to come back up so you can cut through. So you gotta cut uh, less at a time in order to maintain those RPMs. All these machines are two stroke, uh, so they don't have a lot of torque on them. You, you have to main, you have to rely on the high RPMs in the at, at, on the power band there. So anyway, let's move on. Okay, guys. Last but not least is the B42. This is the direct comparison to the uh, B45 or 450, in my opinion. Um, at least available to us here. So. Got the whip at the end. Sorry, I'm a professional. Venom Series 1. Alright, let's, let's get it. No hesitation whatsoever. Okay, so um, as you can see, in, in to me, I don't know if we want to go back and take a look. For some reason, this one just spun up faster than the 420. Um, it just seemed to get to that RPM quicker. Now, I'm about to find out here if that 420 can hold the RPM just as good as this uh, B42. So I'll let you guys know and then we'll find out from there. We're, we're learning as we go, guys. Okay, guys, this is the 23. The Proscape BT23L Mariama. Again, this takes a 50 to 1 and two short motors. on that thing um, it would spin it with ease like I said the only the only thing about this model is that when you get it down to the grass with the whip and as you're coming through it will slow it down so you can you can only eat a little at a time versus uh, the blade the blade no problem if you're gonna use the blade for thicker grass that we use it for the really high grass um, it will not slow this thing down at all. It'll just chomp this stuff. No problem. And the upside to this thing is the weight. You can do a lot of cutting with very, you know, small amount of effort. However, because it doesn't have that power, you're going back and forth a little bit more. So it's, a, it's kind of a trade-off. But if you have a, a bad back or something like that, this is the one for you. <laughs> 